What's cracking, good people? My name is Anthony Blow, and you are watching or listening to Gadget X, brainstorming the future. This is our first episode, QR codes. And the seed for this was first dropped by Gina Trapani. Uh, you might know Gina from This Week in Google, among other things. And uh, she had a post on QR codes. A lot of good discussion there in that thread. All kinds of different QR applications that people were were chiming in on there. Uh, I especially enjoyed the little sidebar that we had on augmented reality apps within QR. So that's pretty cool, you should check that out. And uh, next uh, up in the chain was Danny Sullivan. Uh, you probably know him from the Gilmore Gang. And uh, given the tension between Bing and Google, he thought it would be funny to have both of them sponsor each side of his kids' uh, sports teams. Sort of a interesting proxy rivalry those two tech giants. And this led me to write AdSense for Objects, where these QR codes, short for quick response, could be silk screened onto an object or with a label, you know, fixed with a label or something like that. And whenever that uh, code is scanned, you can have within Google AdSense this kind of special classification for physical objects. So you might be able to move AdSense inventory based on that as opposed to you know, the normal way we see it. You could even do stuff like have Flickr whenever it sees a picture. Say you take a picture of your kid and they're wearing a jersey that's got a, a short QR code on it. Thereafter, a site like Flickr or others could actually recognize that ad inventory and uh, throw that up within their own Flickr site. So next came Matt Cutts, uh, who you probably know from This Week in Google. Uh, Matt also works for Google. And he had a post on Buzz about uh, this new URL shortening feature from Google and how this URL shortener also can generate a QR code uh, based on the URL, which was really cool. I chimed in with a link to my uh, AdSense for Objects post and uh, Matt responded back in the thread about uh, the idea of using infrared light instead of you know what you normally see, you know, labels, or what have you for uh, for displaying a QR code. And the advantage of that is that uh, an image sensor in most phones can see you uh, infrared light. It's just a quirk of, of the uh, filter uh, that's on the uh, CMOS image sensor. At the same time, our eyes cannot see infrared light, of course. You know, you use your remote control on your TV set, it would really be kind of weird if you could see that. <laughs> so, I decided to do an experiment just to show you real quick what it looks like. Okay, we're going to take a look at uh, what infrared light looks like to a image sensor that you commonly find in your mobile phone. I've got an HTC Hero here. It's got a five megapixel image sensor. And I've got, of course, our infrared light source. It's a TV remote. Uh, first, we'll look at uh, what happens when we try and project it onto a surface. You can see a little bit of that infrared light coming out there at the end. Of course, this is all being encoded and compressed with the, uh, the whole video uh, front-end coding chain. Now, if we go out for the direct route, we just aim it straight at the camera. Check this out. It's pretty cool, huh? You can even see a uh, kind of a lens flare effect. Neat stuff. Of course, with a lot more power, uh, you can probably focus that light pretty well. You know, we, we're running on AA batteries here, so it's not the strongest light source. But if we wanted to illuminate some signage, um, that way people know Whenever they see a sign, they can just point their camera at it and they can get their QR code right off of that. Okay, so I'll speak to Nancy, and she's the principal of San Diego. So I initially was thinking that we would project from an external light source, but Nancy had actually a pretty good insight. Primarily, most lit signs are internally illuminated, so I don't you were saying there might be a way to do that. Um, and as far as neon or 
fluorescent or LED. LED is a little more expensive, and um, but it's becoming much more popular and it's safer. <laughs> it doesn't start fires and it's not quite as bright yet, but it's getting better. Well, that's great. Yeah, the, the price performance curve of LED is coming down. You know, it will be there maybe in four or five years, and we can actually intermingle among those LEDs, infrared emitters, that can actually produce your pattern. So then you'd point your phone at a sign, and it would tell you what? Right. The camera sensor in your phone would be able to see that infrared image, and then it would decode that barcode into a website, and then it would go on the Internet and extract whatever information you like, and then kind of uh, superimpose that over the image of the sign. So you could get a coupon or something oh, or some other enticement to come into that store based on the sign. So, so for people like you, you may be able to sell a sign for maybe 45% more because we've got uh, living advertising attached to it now. That so is an incredible idea. Yeah, that's really interesting. I'd, be, I'd really like to know more about it.